everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the website RAS Kits from a computer. So you are going to want to choose which browser. It works on Safari, it also works on Google Chrome. I like Google Chrome, so I'm going to show you from there. In the search bar, I am going to type in www.ras-kids.com. Once the site loads, you will see a green button that says Kids Login, and we are going to press that. From here, you have a search bar where you can type in your teacher's username. Every, grade, every class in 303 has a different teacher username. I am using the one for 303. So if you are in 303, you will type in A Lee 181 and then you will press go. Once you're on this site, you will see um, all of the students in 303. You can find your student there. For the purposes of this video, I am going to show you a test student. And this will be the same, it will look the same as your child's Raz Kid looks. So once you hit the student name. For now, all of the passwords are the rabbit. This first one that is highlighted in green, you are going to click it and then hit go. Once I log in, this is the main dashboard. I am going to go to the top left by kids A to Z. It will say reading. Here you'll see level up or reading room. If on your student's reading tab, it does not say that. Maybe it says reading assessment tool. You will want to click that and have your student go through that first. This will assess their reading level and then unlock the reading room where they will then be able to choose a book. But for this next part that I am going to do, if this reading room is not unlocked for them, um, they won't be able to access it yet. So make sure that they do that reading assessment tool first. So for this student, you see that the reading room is unlocked. I will click the reading room. And here you have all the different ways that the books are organized. For this, I will click the leveled books. So right now you can see this student's level, it's an H. And so these are all books that Raz Kids has pulled together that are H level books or some books that might be a little above or a little below their reading level. So you can also check those out to find a better fit for your student. So I want to click animals and animals. I'd like to read that one. I'm going to highlight and click the book. You have a couple different options. They can read the book to your student out loud. So you will click listen for that. But we want to do the record feature today, so you can only record yourself reading on the read option. So you cannot record yourself in the listen option. So I will click this book by read, and it will take me to the book. On the bottom right, you'll see next. That will take you to the next page. So I want to record myself reading so that my teachers can assess um, how I'm reading out loud. Here you'll see at the top of the screen, it says back to reading room, and then there's a couple of different boxes that you can click. Right now we are just going to work with the microphone. If you don't see this um, drop down box, it might, might mean that it's hidden. So you'll just wanna look for a little arrow right here at the top where the title is and click it to bring the drop down box down. We are working on this record feature. So I am going to click the red microphone and I see this option, it's a red button with a white circle in it. This will begin my recording. So let's go ahead and do that now. I will click it and now you can see that it's recording because the green bar is changing. So I will just start reading while this is on. Animals, Animals, written by Cheryl Ryan. I can pause it so I can go to the next page, but I can also just keep the recording 
recording going so that I don't have to keep pressing the record button. So I will show you an example. I will continue reading. Male elk have large antlers. Elk can swim well and run very fast. Next page, you will see that the recording is still going. So once I've finished the book, I am recording throughout the entire book. I just keep clicking next, 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 and I will go to the end of the book. The recording will not send to your teachers until the book has been finished. So once I get to the last page of the book, you'll see this arrow that says done. I will want to make sure that my recording is done. I can press the green button if I want to play it back. The blue button is if I want to start over completely. This will not save the recording um, and you will need to restart the whole recording. But I'm happy with my recording now, so I'm going to press done. And that will automatically send it to um, the teacher so that they can see and access the file of the recording. Later, we will show you some other um, cool things that Raz Kids has, but right now we just want to really focus on the recording. So please let us know if that button does not work for your students. Thank you so much.